Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Zorn and this is the Titrations Lab. This is going to be an exciting lab where we are going to figure out the concentration of this acid. Someone didn't label it in the storeroom and we need to figure out the concentration. So we're going to be using a titration to do that. Okay, so I've got all the equipment here. We're going to go ahead and measure out some stuff and we're going to jump right into it. All right, my first step is I'm going to measure out 10 milliliters of our acid here. Again, we don't know what the concentration is. Uh, we're going to be using a titration to discover that during the lab. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it close using a funnel here. And then I'm going to finish it off with a pipette. It's just a little high, so I'm going to siphon some off here. Ten milliliters exactly. That is awesome chemistry right there. All right, let's move on. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to put it into our Erlenmeyer flask. So this is the acid going in here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and measure out 20 milliliters of distilled water. <laughs> 20 mils of distilled water, and that's also going to go into my Erlenmeyer flask here. Finally, I'm going to add three drops of our phenolphthalein solution. This is an indicator, and what's going to happen with this is it's going to turn a shade of pink when I reach that titration point. All right, we are ready to fill up our burette next, and then we're going to do our titration. All right. So I've got my burette here. Before I start to fill it, I want to just briefly talk about the way that this is marked off. So. You might think that you'd find the zero mark down at the bottom here. Well, you would be wrong. The zero mark is actually up at the top here. So I'm going to fill my burette, and I'm going to get it right to that zero mark. And then as I move down the burette, you'll notice the numbers increase. And that's telling me how much of this base has been added to our solution here. So it starts at zero, and it moves all the way down the burette here. All right? So let's go ahead and fill this. It really helps if you're tall for this. Mrs. Black is like this tall, so she has a hard time. She has to stand on a stool. I am six foot two. I have no problem filling this. So I'm just going to do this. Don't even have to go up on my tippy toes. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is closed first. And then I'm going to fill this. All right, now when I filled this, I actually filled it past the zero mark because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the valve at the bottom to release it and get it close to that zero mark there. We can get very precise with this burette. So the fact that I didn't get it exactly on the zero mark is no problem at all. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my funnel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a waste beaker below my burette, just like that. And I'm going to open the valve, and I'm going to lower this so that the meniscus is right at that zero mark there. And perfect. So I am ready to go here. So now I'm going to swap out my waste beaker with my flask containing the acid, the distilled water, and our phenolphthalein solution, and I'm going to begin the titration. All right, we're ready to titrate. This is going to be our first trial. So notice that color disappears very quickly here.
Okay, so notice our color is starting to stick around a little bit longer, so I'm going to go very slow here. And I want my color change to be the, the, to the drop where my titration is uh, starting to, uh, where well, the color will change and will stick around for a while. So I can slow this down, the burette, down to a drop at a time. Be very careful here. So we're coming up on 13. Notice I'm swirling this after each drop. Again, I want to find the exact point where the color change happens and it stays pink. Tell me this isn't the most exciting thing you've watched at home. Where are we at? Ooh, so close. I think it's going to be one more drop here. Ah, look at that. All right, so notice our pinkish color is starting to persist. It's like a light color pink. If we get a really dark shade of uh, pink, we know that we over titrated our solution. All right, so there's our first trial. And now what we're going to do is we're going to read the burette. And remember, when we read the burette, we're going to read it from the top down. So this is at 13.6 milliliters of our base was added to get the titration. All right, so this is gonna be our second trial. Now, if you notice, you probably can from a distance, but I didn't fill my burette back up to zero. So we're gonna basically pick up where we left off, okay? So my starting volume on the burette is going to be 13.6 milliliters. Also, I have a ballpark of where the titration occurred. It was about 13 and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump this down to about 25, and then I'm gonna really start to slow it down at that point, okay? So again, I'm gonna open my valve, I'm gonna get it to about 25, and then I'm gonna start to slow it down like I did in the previous trial. Okay, so that's 20 right there. 24 and there's 25 okay so now I'm going to slow down the process all right Coming up on 26. Okay, so I'm going to try to slow this down just a little bit fat more. Probably one more drop here. Take my reading here. I'm at 27.3. Okay, so 27.3 is our final volume reading on our burette. All right, so now you should have all the information you need to go ahead and calculate the concentration of our acid. Good luck and have fun.